our first link is learnprompting.org. This is a great place to learn about prompt engineering and how to structure your prompts for different use cases. I have actually gone through their entire literature and I've learned quite a lot. They also have a GitHub as well. Check them out. It's learnprompting.org. Our second link is Learn Prompting's resource database. This is an ever-growing resource all about prompting, prompt engineering. Take a look. There are the descriptions as well and the links. Third link is igniter.ai. This is the place where you can find the right tool for your workflow. Igniter helps you find the right AI tools and resources. They have a chatbot which you can chat, and this chatbot will try to assist you finding some AI tool. There's also like training list and other tools in glossary. They have a cool blog as well as also a job board. Take a look at igniter.ai. Another cool place is chatbotkit.com. The simplest way to build advanced AI chatbots. It says our platform makes it easy for developers and non-developers alike to build chatbots that can communicate with users in natural language. This is said they're an all-in-one platform. Everything you need to build and manage advanced AI chatbots they have. 42 examples anywhere from customer support agent to technical assistant review buddy. Their documents are pretty cool. Just take a look at chatbotkit.com. Galileo AI at usegalileo.ai is a cool place where you can request early access to design, idea to design in an instant powered by AI. It says Galileo AI creates delightful editable UI designs from simple text descriptions. They have a quick demo and you can request early access. The link will be in the description. Langchain introduced partial prompt templates with 0.0.96. This is useful when you're, when you're crafting your prompts and you're going to have to wait for a variable to put into your prompt, but maybe you have some of the variables already ready from the get-go. So you can actually initialize your prompt template with partial prompts for some variables to be determined at a later time. You can also use partials with the functions. For example, you can define a function to get the current date and time and then you can actually initiate this just using the function and also right from the start or for, uh, at a later time so this is pretty cool the link will be in the description another interesting idea is to use vector stores as tools for agents here in this tutorial they create two vector stores and then give those vector stores as tools to the agent so then depending on the query the agent tries to use whichever vector store is the most relevant so this is interesting and useful for having multiple vector stores echohive is a channel where i create tutorials and build applications anywhere from summary and question answering using large language mod to tutorials about open ai embeddings and building user interfaces with streamlit and things like that if you enjoy the content please subscribe to my channel i also have a patreon for my patreon supporters where i provide code examples I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching.